If there is to be a breakthrough on any Brexit deal, it must be signed off here, Dublin, where Boris Johnson met the Irish Prime Minister today for the first time. The British Prime Minister says he does want a deal on the issue of the backstop to the border. His opposite number sounded unconvinced. We must protect the peace and also the burgeoning all-island economy. And that's why for us the backstop continues to be a critical component of the withdrawal agreement unless and until alternatives are found. But we are open to alternatives, but they must be realistic ones, legally binding and workable. And we haven't received such proposals to date. And how can Boris Johnson offer progress when back home he faces a parliament in revolt? I'm absolutely undaunted by uh, whatever may take place in, uh, in parliament. Because I think what the British people want us to, to do is to deliver a deal and uh, to get on and take us out on October the 31st. More than ever, this feels like a stalemate both outside and inside this place, as the government confirmed that Parliament will be prorogued, suspended from tonight until mid-October. I think it's disgraceful. Parliament should be sitting and Parliament should be holding the government to account. And the Prime Minister appears to be wanting to run away from questions. Today it became the law that if the Prime Minister has not done a deal with the EU by October the 19th, he must go back to Brussels and ask for a delay to Brexit beyond October the 31st. It's something he's always said he'll never do. But if he doesn't, now he'll be breaking the law. The man behind the drafting of that law says MPs were right to step in. This is Parliament acting on behalf of the people Whatever folk think about should happen with Brexit, ultimately, it's about protecting our businesses, our jobs, our communities from the damage that a no-deal Brexit would do. And a surprise this afternoon as the Speaker announced he will quit on October the 31st. Throughout my time as Speaker, I have sought to increase the relative authority of this legislature for which I will make absolutely no apology to anyone, anywhere, at any time. Applause from the opposition bench is hardly any on the government side where they've seen the Speaker as breaking the rules to derail Brexit. Another very visible mark of the political division.